Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to take a good profile picture for LinkedIn. And you see that the door is open right now because I'm waiting for my friends that you already saw on the channel because they need new LinkedIn profile pictures. But the problem is they don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars hiring a pro photographer just for a LinkedIn profile picture. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a professional one just like these at home or outside, depending on the style that you prefer for less than 10 bucks, okay? So stay, stay with me here, okay? And so if you watched my last video on LinkedIn background cover photo, you know how the human brain processes visuals faster than text. And this is why first impressions are made within 33 milliseconds. And so this is huge when you're job searching because it can make the difference between an HR manager actually interested in you and reading your LinkedIn profile and calling you for an interview or just skipping to the next one. So if you're too far out in your picture or if you just took a picture with your friends and then you just cropped it or worse, if your picture is blurry, you will not have that wow effect I'm talking about when someone lands on your profile on LinkedIn. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step what you need and how to take actually that, pic that professional picture uh, in your house or outside. And I will even show you how to edit them for free even if you're not a designer or even if you don't know software like Photoshop. And I will show you a, a website that will help you know if your profile picture is up to the other people's standards or not. So stay tuned. All right, I think they're here. You're late. Yeah, yeah. sorry about Damn. that. Damn, I like that's, your suit, man. That's... All right, so they're finally here. Um, as you can see, the most important, well, the first step is to dress well, right? Sure. So put a suit for, for, for men and for women. What do you nice suggest? Dress. Nice yeah. dress, yeah? Always. All right. All right, guys. So uh, if you are taking pictures at home, um, one of the most important things that you can handle is lighting. It will either make or break your video. Uh, if you, if, even if you have one of the crappiest phones on earth, uh, if you have a good lighting, it will look better than if you have a professional uh, camera. Here's an example of how lighting can change the image quality. So let's start with a dark scene. If we add one light source, we create that weird shadow in the other side of my face, which is not really compelling for a LinkedIn profile picture. Let's add a second light source, which is a little bit uh, less bright than the first one. We create that cinematic look that we all love. But if we want to take that picture to the next level, let's add a last light source in the background to create a separation between the subject, which is me, and the background. Now we have the perfect picture. In today's video, we will want to replicate the same concept but with cheaper materials if you don't have professional lights at home. All you need is a lamp, a phone, and a foam board with aluminum foil that you can buy from the dollar store. You can use a window or a door as a primary light source, then a lamp to lit the background to create that separation we just talked about, and finally the aluminum foil as a second light source to control the shadows to create a cinematic image that we all want. So something you have to keep in mind is to choose the portrait mode in your phone. So if you have a, like an iPhone 10, uh, even like an iPhone 8, no? No, iPhone no, 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 no. Anyways, like it, I think that if you have a phone from like two years ago until now, you can use portrait mode. So portrait mode will blur the background and it will, it will be just easier to edit uh, the picture later on. So first step, use your phone. Second step, use the portrait mode and then call some friends just like we did here and let's take some pictures. So let's show the example without the, the aluminum phone and then with the aluminum phone. If this is without the, uh, the aluminum thing. This is with, okay? Yeah. So you want to create that dramatic look I was talking about, uh, just like in my video. So you can adjust it. Can this you take is with? Yeah. And this is without. Yeah. So we, we want to add some, we want to add some personality to the shot so you can play with it as you wish. To have a natural look and a natural smile that will give you that great first impression, try visualization. Try to imagine a good souvenir or try to remember a good moment in your life with your loved ones. Because we'll see at the end of the video, the, uh, people will judge you on that and will have that first impression of you. So you don't want to be like extra or like not smiling. Yeah, you just need to be charismatic and look like 
you're enjoying your life. Exactly. So, do you have something to say, Yassin? No, I think that's uh, good tips. Yeah. All right, let's go outside then. So guys, why would you want to go outside when it's beautiful and try and take a profile pic? So let me tell you, not everyone has the luxury of having a nice apartment with white walls, white backgrounds, or black walls with black backgrounds. You might not have the good lighting and all the proper conditions to take really quality pictures. So a recommendation from me would be go outside, go to a nice park, or in the city of Montreal. For example, for us, we went five minutes away from my house and there's a nice park, look at the background, it's beautiful. It makes it more relaxed, it makes your picture look more professional and even more enjoyable for yourself. So those were my pro tips, I hope it helps and have fun. So we chose this background, I think it's, uh, it's great. Um, it shows like some water, some trees, so, some, uh, so that's the natural look I was talking about. Look at this, bro. Look oh my quality. God. And wow. you can see the difference between the one we took under the sun yeah. and the one we took under a shadow. So you see, this one is over overexposed. This one is perfect because we can see the shadows in his face. That gives that uh, dramatic look that I was talking about uh, before in the video. All right, guys, so pro tip when you're taking uh, photos outside, uh, just like we said, uh, choose somewhere with shadows because look, with the sun, uh, it can become overexposed. Another tip is, uh, again, the visualization of emotions to take that natural look in your photos. And that's it. Now we're gonna go home and we'll edit some of the best pictures and uh, we'll do a contest at the end of the video. You'll vote which photo is the best one. So, let's go home now. All right, so I'm finally home. I'll grab my, uh, my tablet and uh, we'll start editing the photos right now. All right. So, I grabbed my tablet here. Um, if you don't have one, just use your phone. Now we'll edit the pictures just to make the colors pop a little bit more and have those shadows, that dramatic look uh, pop even more than the natural or the original photo. And that, in my opinion, will make your uh, photo even more professional. Um, I basically use the, uh, the settings in Google Photo and uh, Instagram features. I'm not a pro photographer. I'm not a pro like uh, photo editor. I don't know how to use Lightroom, so I'll show you how I do it. I just tweak some features that I will show you right now and I hope you can do the same. All right, let's edit it using the features in Google Photo. If you don't have Google Photo, you can use, um, you can use Instagram. So you'll see, I'm, I don't like to use filters. I like to tweak the colors uh, myself. So if you got your lighting right, you don't have to touch the exposure just because you have enough light. Okay, uh, but what I like to touch uh, is um, the whites sometimes. So I'd like to brighten the photo a little bit, the highlights a little bit. So you know what you like, right? So you can tweak the features a little bit just to um, make it as good as you want. You know, you see, so I like to lower the shadows just to give that dramatic look a little bit. Um, add some blacks here, then make some colors, so um, I up the saturation a little bit more. I don't like using the warmth feature. And then the color pop a little bit. Boom, I have this one. Let's, let's choose one from Yassine. Yeah, this one is great, I like it. All right, I'll show you the final version of those uh, four pictures 
right now on screen. Now the last step that you that you need to do is using the website photo feeler. I don't know if you've heard of it. I like it just because here you can just put your photos and then people will vote on your photo and uh, will basically tell you what is their first impression of you. For me, I've done it already. I have 55 votes like you see on screen and you see that most people said I'm competent, likable and influential. Those are my three top uh, qualities. And so if you have a bad picture, well, people will rate you less in those uh, uh, qualities. There are other ones as well. And so for me, it's a great way just to give you an idea if you're making a great impression on LinkedIn or not. And that's it. You can be sure that if you follow all the steps I mentioned in this video, so taking the picture at home or outside, depending on your style, then edit them a little bit and then using photo filler just to know what other people think about it, you can be sure that most people landing on your profile will have that smile when they see uh, your beautiful profile picture. Let's do a competition here. So let me know in the comment section, which photo do you prefer most? Is it the one outside or the, is it the one uh, inside? And let me know who won the competition, Yasin or Mohammed. Vote in the comment section. So whether it's one, two, three or four, I'm, uh, I'm basically curious to know um, which uh, photo is the best in your opinion. Now, if you want to take your LinkedIn profile to the next level, then download the LinkedIn checklist I have personally made down in the description. It's free and I will be giving you more than eight steps with tips and tricks on how to make the best LinkedIn profile possible so that people, when they land on your profile, they will want to know more about you and call you for interviews or DM you for future opportunities. And so if you wanna learn how to make that kind of LinkedIn profile, then download the free checklist in the description. This is the second video in this LinkedIn series I'm making. If you missed the first one and if you want to learn how to have a memorable LinkedIn cover photo so that people remember you more easily, then watch the video here. Let me know in the comment section, by the way, what else do you want to learn about LinkedIn? I love LinkedIn and I use it every day. And so let me know what you want to learn next. I'll talk to you in the next video. Ciao.